My name is Abdurrahman Khan. I am currently the pro bono fellow at McCarter in English, where I represent individuals who are facing eviction and cannot afford counsel. So we partner with different organizations, including Essex North Legal Services and Legal Services of New Jersey. I grew up in North Jersey. I still live in North Jersey. I went to school at Rutgers, as well as law school at Rutgers. Um, so I have a lot of pride for New Jersey. Uh, and I'm very excited to be, you know, privileged enough to be doing this work to support residents in New Jersey. In this specific case, we stepped in in the 11th hour. I picked up the case and I met with the client. She is uh, an elderly individual living in the Newark greater area who is uh, disabled and has restricted access. She uses a walker to get around and she's pretty much done everything right. She's never missed a rent payment in her life. We noticed first that the rent increase that they're alleging is illegal and it's out of bounds for Newark rent control. The second thing that we noticed was that they actually alleged the wrong thing on the complaint. And so they were alleging that she was not paying her rent, which, you know, they created their own indebtedness. But what they were really trying to get at was that she refused to acknowledge the rent increase, which is a separate cause of action. And so the complaint really should have get, gotten dismissed. So essentially what we saw was an individual who did everything right, opposing counsel who did everything wrong. And even still, we had a client facing homelessness. And so I think that for, for a lot of attorneys, especially younger attorneys, it can be daunting taking on cases start to finish. You go through law school and you're not really sure how to practice law unless you know you got that experience in clinic or maybe you worked at a law firm prior to that. And so I think from a personal and professional development perspective, it can be tremendously valuable, but also, and more importantly, from the perspective of supporting people in our community, it can go a very long way. And, and I think that one of the reasons for that is because housing is so fundamentally connected to all these different areas, including education and employment and healthcare. And so if you are able to help someone stabilize their housing, you're also helping someone keep their job. You're helping uh, you know, their children, for example, stay in school and not have long-term behavioral issues you're assisting long-term medical issues. Legal services and other legal service providers will provide you support. It can make a very, very uh, you know, meaningful difference for that individual and for, and for the community that we're in.